Oh, thank God. That was crazy. I think we're nearing the end. And I have an eight hour recording on my hands. The Ark made it here in one piece. Christ, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. Oh, I'll my have God. both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. I thought we were done with... Okay, I thought I heard a monster. I was gonna say, I thought we were done with those fucking things. Alright. Phi is up and running. Probably over in the storage. Maybe. Oh. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Okay. So yeah, it's in the cargo that of impeccable operation the Omega space gun will shut down but it took an apocalypse to be made redundant did you find out what happened to the Ark team not really for some reason they didn't go through with the launch so they took the Ark back to Tau I hope everything's okay with the space gun yeah I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those I thought it, so I said die as a like, oh shit Dome, but I need the owner tool to go in there. Can't grab it. What? Everything's all blurry for me. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3 30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Oh my god. My arm. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today. 
A hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? I'm assuming we need this for something. That's probably the gun. Ooh, another healer thingy. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Now it's the other hand. Or was it always that hand? What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? Here we go. That's it, so. Found the Ark. Good job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the Ark into a shell. There's not a shell right there. The assembly space. Stop playing this game. I really, oh my god. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. On it. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then pushed through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it! No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! Oh. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine! So that's how she was God. killed? Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Hmm. Why is it... Okay. It's ticking. I guess that's it. Do I just head back now? Alright. My freaking arm. How did she die? 
You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Where, where do I go? Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. I'm gonna avoid that room. So much noise. This is not the arc will make it through the atmosphere and into space. It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. <sighs> Wait a minute, isn't that... What? Oh, I see. I don't know where the hell... Is it this... Oh wait, loading dock? No, it's... Is it the computer? Yeah, I know. Staff activity, launch log. Okay, it's not there.
Here it is. We got the arc back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. Okay, I think I got stuck again. I had to look up on the guide. Uh, I need to remember. I think it's out this way. Whichever way we came in, we used a battery pack for a door. And apparently I need to take that battery pack and bring it, bring it down to uh, the cannon room. It's not there. Okay, maybe this isn't the way. Uh, that's launch dome. Loading dog. Is it down this way? I don't seem to remember going down like this. I see, yeah, the battery goes in here. There's another spot for it here. Oh no, that's where we took it from, isn't it? Ah, here it is, it's over here. What does it do here? Actually, I thought that's where we took it from, I think. Yeah, I think that's where we took it from. Originally. So let's go all the way through here. of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. For some reason I thought going up first was the proper way because when I got in the ladder they started talking and I thought that was like when I got when you get to a certain area it triggers um, it triggers them talking and I thought okay I must be going the right way but now what now we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then kaboom aren't you forgetting something how are you going to get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omnitool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Next to the seat? What? Plug it in next to the seat. What the? F the 
Does this say launch don't? Hope to God I'm going the right way. That's the gun right there. You won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. I'm scared. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know. I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. What the fuck? Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Is she lying to me? Here we go. Now turn in back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time, 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Are they gonna have time? Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. 
You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon at Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those... Fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Ah, oh, jeez. Catherine? Catherine? just ends like that. Well, I mean, I guess it's good that we, we got the arc out there, but I, I do feel bad for Simon and Catherine. But I wonder, like, they did a, a scan, so they'd wake up in the Ark with the memory of what they did, right? That should be how it works. So at the same time, I'd be okay with that, even though it's a copy, like it's not the original me, but, I mean, in that situation where, like they said, it's the, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the, it's the last hope for mankind, like, it makes sense to me. But anyways, I am going to let the credits roll through, and apparently there is a special something in the end. Um, I was thinking of turning off my webcam and my mic and then letting it roll through, but I can't because if I alt-tab it stops. <laughs> Production babies? What? Oh, the credits weren't that long at all. But what is what is production babies? An extra special thanks to our nearest and dearest for supporting us throughout. still playing? I thought it was done. Whoa. Is this? Did it work? Well, I have my hand back. I am what looks to be human. It's weird that we're in a cave. There does seem to be vegetation. 
I hear the outside. It's good that there's vegetation rather than all those wires and tubes and stuff from those machines and that paste or gel, whatever it was. So this is the Ark. I just want to point out, I hate to criticize, but these are obviously lily pads. And I'm pretty sure water, uh, water lily flowers don't look like that. Unless it's some kind of water lilies I've never seen before. It's pretty, that's for sure. I love that waterfall, the way it, the way it looks, the way it flows, it shines. Is there something? Oh, there's a bridge over here. I wonder if we're gonna run into Catherine. What is this? Calibration Survey, welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. I hope this isn't long. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel normal. How? Would you, how <coughs> I am sorry for that. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. How would you describe your senses? As expected, normal. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Pleasant. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? I'll say somewhat. How do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation of my previous self. Something completely different and has nothing to do with my previous self. I'd say it's a direct continuation of my previous self. Because you remember what happened before. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Sure. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Yeah. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating in the art team. Okay. I thought it was going to show me, like, what everybody else answered. I don't like how it creaked like that. Is that a city? I see a city. It's kind of slow. I think we're about to see what is on the other side of these boulders. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's alright now. Gee, look at the world. It's just basically hell. <laughs> I 
It's weird too, like, if you think about it. What if we're in some sort of... I'm sorry, I somehow hit the desk with my legs. <laughs> um, if you think about it, like, what if we're in a simulation right now? Like, the world is not as what we think it is. We're actually just in some machine floating in some other uh, galaxy or space or whatever. But like right now I'd like to believe that the world we're in is legit and not get freaked out by all, the, uh, all these speculations and whatnot. fade to black. Hmm. It's a great game. I'm happy with how um, it turned out, how the ending was. Um, I did stop for a while, but um, the only thing that I kind of dislike is it's kind of my own fault with this one, but I just I don't search thoroughly it seems and I almost give up easily and it's like when I kept getting stuck it's because um, I wasn't having the crosshairs go over the hatch or whatever and it's like I just look at it as a wall and then I look in the guide and I'm like oh that seems obvious but like that is it's my own fault but I just I, f I feel like because it took forever to figure some stuff out it kind of took away from my experience but that's just me but other than that it's a great game and uh, the horror aspect wasn't um, kind of what I was, I was expecting like it was still kind of scary and it gave me chills and stuff but it's like for some reason I was expecting kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares like that but it uh, it was great the way they made it it was perfect and yeah so I hope you enjoyed the ride and uh, I certainly did I hope to play other games like this in the, the future and um yeah, so thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. God damn these voice cracks. Anyways. And as always, bye for meow. Let me out the f out of here.